if you build it, they will come, is the kind of ghostly statement that might inspire you to plow your Iowa farm into a baseball stadium. But this isn't Field of Dreams. Maybe you're not a believer, but open your mind. We'll tell you some tales that will creep out even the bravest exorcist. Here are 10 most insane haunted houses in the world. And while you want to avoid that floating red light in your hallway, click on the red subscribe button instead. Whether there's something under your bed or hiding in your closet, the hub will shine a light on the most unsettling things the world has to offer. The House of Death. A picturesque street in the heart of downtown Manhattan holds a dark secret and an appropriate nickname. The House of Death was built right around the corner from scenic Washington Square Park, just before the Civil War. Throughout the 19th century, several members of New York's elite social circles lived within the walls, including the wife of the founder of the city's Underground Railroad, and most notably Mark Twain. Sighted on the main level and at the foot of the staircase, Twain's spirit has been seen ever since the 1930s when he appeared to a parent and a child saying, my name is Clemens and I have a problem here I gotta settle. Later converted into an apartment building, an actress living upstairs claimed to see a sinister moving shadow, including a lady in white, a little kid, and a strange cat. Monte Cristo Homestead, New South Wales, Australia. In the 23 years following her husband's death in 1910, Elizabeth Crowley only left her Monte Cristo homestead on two occasions. According to the current owners, she's still there. And they believe her husband stuck around too. She'll hear her name and feel a hand on her shoulder. With tales of a strange force reportedly taking a child out of a nanny's hands and throwing it down a staircase, the loss of a stable boy in a barn fire, and a strange glowing coming from inside the house at random hours, the Monte Cristo homestead is haunted by a history of misery. The Amityville Horror House, Amityville, New York. Since the unfortunate murders of the DeFreo family in 1974, there have been 16 different films about the events that occurred within these walls. Walls that reported to bleed green oozing slime. When the Lutz family moved in following the DeFeo tragedy, as the Lutzes became more familiar with their new home, the house seemed to know what scared them. Creepier than the cold spots and pungent smells were physical manifestations. When a Catholic priest came to bless the house, he heard a voice demanding him to get out. A figure in the shape of a pig was spotted through the windows, and a hidden red room which hinted at its rumored connection to witch culture and Native American burial grounds. Ancient Ram Inn, Gloucestershire, England. In the cozy village of Wanton Under Edge lies the Ancient Ram Inn, a thousand-year-old property originally owned by St. Mary Church. Even more ancient than the building itself is the 5,000-year-old pagan burial ground at Restover, a location that lines up directly with Stonehenge. The sheer amount of spiritual energy makes this inn more of a hotel for the dead than a hotspot for the living. A plumber once sighted a translucent Roman soldier on horseback, and dark forces grab and push the current owner and sole occupant, John Humphreys, on a regular basis. With a bishop's room haunted by a creepy monk, a witch's room haunted by a convicted heathen, and evidence of human sacrifices under the stairs, you should be able to rent a room here real cheap. The Joshua Ward House, Salem, Massachusetts. Speaking of witches, let's take a happy stroll through Salem. The Ward House is notorious for its current structure and the foundation on which it's built. The original home belonged to a sheriff, George Corwin, with the quaint nickname of The Strangler. As a chief interrogator of the Salem Witch Trials, he mercilessly tormented and executed 19 suspected witches, ultimately innocent. After passing away from a heart attack in 1697, the family feared angry locals, so they buried him in the basement of his house. His ghost is believed to have choked some unfortunate visitors, while the ghost of Giles Corey, who was tortured to death by the sheriff, is believed to melt unlit candles and hurl objects around the house. Lastly, the wild-haired ghost of a convicted witch was seen by a realtor who managed to catch it on camera. Borgetnet, Sweden The first sighting in the Borgvatnet vicarage was in 1927, when a priest saw his laundry torn from the clothesline. With each new guest, usually from the holy community, comes new undead visitations. A well-known Swedish priest specializing in exorcisms enacted a ghost-busting ritual to rid the now bed and breakfast of its malevolent spirits. Sadly, the paranormal activity continues with visits from previous residents, deceased priests, assaulted maids, and the specters of children who stayed on the land long after their physical forms passed away. Island of the Dolls, Xochimilco, Mexico. Welcome to the Island of the Dolls. Nestled in a canal near Mexico City, Isla de la Murta is believed to be possessed by a spirit of a girl caught in an overwhelming current. While passing the island, it's said that you can hear the many mutilated dolls murmur to one another and then whisper to you. The girl possessing these dolls was found by Don Julian Santana Barrera, who was so tormented by his inability to save her that he spent his life on the island. 
hanging more and more dolls from trees to please her spirit. In 2001, he was found, drowned in the spot the girl had lost her life in all those years before. Castle of Good Hope, Cape Town, South Africa. The ironically named Castle of Good Hope is one of the oldest encampments remaining from South Africa's colonial period. Around since the 1600s, the castle's most famous supernatural resident is Governor Van Noot, who dies suddenly during an execution under his command. An unforgiving leader, he was so hated that one of his prisoners being hung cursed him, imprisoning the governor's soul into the castle for eternity. Another soldier who hung himself from the rope at the chapel bell is told to cause this sporadic ringing that can be heard from the boarded up bell tower. With screams and shouts coming from an empty torture pit and the stalking growls of a disappearing dog, Good Hope is a great place to lose any and all hope that you had left. Font Springs Hotel, Alberta, Canada. Built on the side of the Canadian Rockies, legend has it the ghost bride's dress caught fire just before she was set to walk down the aisle in the 1920s. She is most often sighted in the castle ballroom, looking for the dance she never received on her wedding day. The White House, Washington, D.C. Of all the homes listed, none are as well known as the White House, and no specter is as famous, the great emancipator himself, Abraham Lincoln. Since the 1920s, staff members, first ladies, and commanders in chiefs has reportedly seen Abe's towering figure in, where else, the Lincoln bedroom. Winston Churchill had been spending the night when he emerged from a bath, naked except for a cigar. Upon seeing Honest Abe, he quipped, Good evening, Mr. President. You seem to have me at a disadvantage. Lincoln smiled and vanished. From the wild, untamed outback to the seat of American government, waking spirits could be just about anywhere. But don't be afraid. Know that you survived the 10 most insane haunted houses in the world. As long as you're able to see in here, try haunting the hub for another insane set of stories. See you soon.